Three. Three. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Liberty Lady Liz here. Thanks for 55 subscribers. Please give me 20k subscribers. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I'm um, sorry for not posting Wednesday or Thursday. I was super busy. So, as you can see, I am back home. I am back from South Carolina. And I had a really fun time. Um, yeah. Before the video starts, though, you'll see a lot of pictures and, like, it'll, I'll, I, it, I typed up where I went, so, yeah, but, um, each day, but, yeah, so, yeah, I'm back home. My flight was delayed, though. It was supposed to, my flight was originally supposed to leave at 8.15, but we flew into, even though I live in Massachusetts, we flew into Providence, and, yeah flew to Providence, Rhode Island. The flight was delayed because of, um, it had to do something with the pilots, so they had to switch planes, but yeah. Um, yeah. Instead of eight, having a flight at 8.15, we had a 10.15 flight, and we got in at like 12 something. No. Yeah. Around 12 noon, and yeah. I've been home for like about a couple hours now, and it's just so nice to be home after being gone for like three and a half days and you know I had a lot of fun um I'm gonna show you some souvenirs I got so hold on this will be in like two clips but yeah I'm gonna show you some souvenirs I got okay so here are some of the souvenirs I got um, I got this. It's not appropriate to wear to school, but it's appropriate to wear anywhere elsewhere. Drunken Jack's shirt. So long sleeves, it's maroon, it's polyester. Drunken Jack's, for those of you who've been to South Carolina, who don't know what it is, is a restaurant in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. And it has, this shirt has the coordinates. And this is their logo. This this is what they have on the menu. This is their logo. So for those of you who don't know what Drunken Jack says, if you've been to South Carolina, or if you haven't been to South Carolina and you want to go, you should go. It's a really nice state. It's beautiful, too. There's a lot of historical sites of war and Revolutionary War, and there's a lot of, like, state parks you can go to. They're really... Well, the historical sites and the things I've been to are really fun. And there's a city called Myrtle Beach, and you can, like, go on the beach, and you can go and ride amusement parks, and eat ice cream and fried dough it's really it's really full, cool and fun but anyway drunken jacks is this restaurant in marl's inlet south carolina um it's not too far down the road from where my grandparents live in south carolina Polly's island and this is in marl's inlet it's about like a a little over a 10 minute drive for my grandparents but when they're down there but it's what it is it's a restaurant and they have like seafood and burgers and pasta and it's really good and to um when you walk before you walk in there's a sign that says drunken jacks and it has a pirate on it and as you walk up you um walk into the building and you're like they're like would you like to sit at the bar are you are you dining and we said we're dining because my grandparents drink alcohol but my mother doesn't and obviously I'm not old enough to, so I can't. But when I, I don't know if I want to drink or not yet, but I still have a little, I still have time to think about it. Um, but yeah. And so when you, when they sit you down, sit you down, you can see like pirate, there's a pirate ship on the wall, like a replica of a pirate ship or just any random pirate ship. And then they have like this, there's two walls there's this pole going from one wall all the way 
from the upper end of the restaurant to the other end. There's a downstairs and the downstairs is a bar and restaurant area. The upstairs is just a restaurant and dining area. And we were in the upstairs, we were in the restaurant and dining area. So anyway, and the staff to go to the kitchen, they have to go downstairs from the upstairs dining area. It's a little, it's a confusing restaurant, but if you go there enough times, you'll find your, you'll, you'll know. Um, so yeah. And then you can see a pirate like climbing a rope on the pole. It's really cool. And when, once they see you, um, you'll order your drinks. And then after they come back, when they come back with your drinks, they'll come back with a big bowl of hush puppies. Hush puppies, it's a basket with like paper in it. So it doesn't get grease all over the basket. Hush puppies are a Southern thing. They, you don't have them up in Massachusetts or New England. You don't have them until you hit like North or South Carolina. Hush, what hush puppies are? Our hush puppies are, um, hush puppies are fried cornmeal. Oh my goodness, they're so sweet. They're so good. And you, once you take a bite into one for your first time, you're like, oh my goodness, and you're addicted. I had like, the other night when we were at Drunken Jack's, I had like more than three hush puppies. And my mother told me, you need to lay off the hush puppies. She didn't want me to spoil my dinner. So yeah. Um, and it's a really nice restaurant and like, it's just, it's not a fancy restaurant. And yes, they do have a lot of fast food restaurants that we have up here, but they also have stuff down, they also have foods down, in, down there because it's the south that we don't up here. Like Hush Puppies is one of them. Gumbo. Um, yeah. Hoagie rolls. Hoagie rolls are basically another name for a sub roll. And I actually had a hoagie, no, hoagie roll Wednesday night when we went to Drunken Jack's. What a hoagie roll is, is a hoagie, a hoagie roll, H-O-A-G-I-E-R-O-L-O, -O, hoagie roll, is um, a sub roll because down south, some people call subs hoagie rolls hoagies some people call it submarines some people call it subs some people call it hoagies that's just basically another word for sub i guess that's what they call it that's what some people in the south call it um but yeah so yeah they do have mcdonald's burger king taco bell chick-fil-a down there hardy's carl's jr dunkin donuts starbucks they have all that down there but something, oh, and they have Sonic and Dairy Queen, but some foods are like only in the su southern region of the United States. So some foods you have down there, if you ask for it at a restaurant up in Massachusetts or like, yeah, or in New England or anywhere that's not the south, they would know what you're talking about, but there would be like, we sorry, we don't have that here. Like if you ask for, like let's say you went to, um. Applebee's you ask for oh can I have hush puppies they probably if they've been to the south they probably would know what they are but they'd be like sorry we don't serve those here so um yeah and that's the sad part about hush puppies is you can only get them in the south you have to if you go on vacation in the south you can only get them there you can't get them up here and there are some things that only New Englanders have, like Coogee Cups, which is half, which is a little hook cup of ice cream, which is half vanilla, half chocolate ice cream, and they give you a wooden stick to eat it with. But yeah, that's what a hush puppy is. Sorry, I went on a little tangent about Drunken Jacks, but yeah. So Wednesday, I don't have any pictures from the aquarium, but Wednesday, it's called the South Carolina Aquarium, but it's in Charleston, and my family and I, we call it the Charleston Aquarium. I, we went to the aquarium. I was, I wanted to see the albino alligator, but I was in the exhibit where I could touch stingrays and I asked a man, I'm like, do you still have the albino guy, alligator? And he's like, no, sadly he passed away. Um, because the last time I went there before to Wednesday was 2015 and, um, not 2015, 2014, I was seven years old. My apologies. And yeah. The last time I went there, they had an albino alligator. But, you know, things change. Animals pass away, so. But, yeah.
they did have little baby alligators and those were cute and i got to touch an alligator i got to touch a baby alligator at the aquarium the other day it was so fun um it was scaly i couldn't touch the mouth because i didn't have to tape the mouth shut and it bites you um they could get in trouble and also the only way they would let you hold it is if they taped the mouth shut and they didn't so they just let me pat it on the back it's scaly it's not like a cat with fur or a dog it's scaly it's it's a hard it feels like you're touching a turtle but um but scaly Cause turtles have shells and alligators have scales but yeah the scales are the alligator's skin and they protect the bones inside of the alligator so that's how it's wide so hard but yeah so i got this at the gift shop with my own money south carolina aquarium i'm gonna put this on my keychain and then i also got we went to brick green gardens on thursday brick green gardens is a place where they have a little zoo they have they have eat they have birds goats um cat bulls chickens alligator they have they used to have two alligators i only have one now and they have a fox they have a little zoo and i went to see the alligators and it's also you can go around and see um there's zoo animals in one part of the um gardens and then there's um and then there's what is it then there's statues of Greek gods and other things in another part of the gardens and it's so beautiful and they also have a cafe there and you can eat. I remember the last time I was there I think was 11 years ago, 10 years ago, something like that. Um, I was four or five the last time I went and I remember my cousins, my mother and I, we went there and we went and walked around green gardens and then we had they have a cafe there and then i had grilled cheese and applesauce for lunch but yeah so that's what brook green gardens is and we bought water at the gift shop and you my grandfather uses apple pay to get us the water it's brook green gardens water i don't know if it's sourced from the swamp or whatever but it was really good and then 1931 celebrating 90 years 2021 brook green gardens this is their logo this is a statue before you turn in to the booth. And this is a statue for the entrance. When you go there, there's a little booth and they're like, hi, how many? And the, you'll be like, oh, I have two children and two adults or whatever. And then they'll tell you until you pay. And then the gate goes up and then you go and find the parking lot and you can walk around. There's a visitor center, there's a gift shop, there's a cafe. It's really fun. It's in Polly's Island, the same town where my grandparents live when they're down there. But... They say, the inter Google says it's in Merle's Inlet, it's really not, it's in Polly's Island. Drunken Jacks is in Merle's Inlet, and that's fun too. And this is, I consider it a souvenir. This is general information. And this is what it looks like. Here are some of the things. And then here is the map. So yeah, so that's all the souvenirs I got. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for 55 subscribers. Please get me 20k subscribers. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. You know the deal. Turn off post notifications so you never get, never miss a video and you get notified when I post a new video. And I'll see you guys on Sunday.